Let's take a look at the world editors in Instruments of Destruction. There are two main sections, the Structure Editor and the Island Editor. In the Structure Editor, the first thing to do is load some built-in structures. Click on a structure to load it, and it appears in the background. Browse through them by clicking on various names, and press Escape to close the list when you're done. You can select the blocks of the structure and edit them with various tools. New for the world building update are wedge blocks, better rotation tools, and the ability to paint blocks. We'll go over the details of how to edit a structure in another video. But one more important element of the structure editor is testing. Press spacebar to begin testing your structure. Press the left mouse button to cause a small explosion, or hold it down to charge up for a big bang. When you're done, just push spacebar again. We'll take a look at the island editor next. There are three modes within the island editor. Layout, ropes and joints, and ground mode. Layout mode is where you place and arrange all the structures and entities in the world. There are also tools to edit the grass and rock settings, the overall visual style, and mission objectives. Ropes and joints mode is used to create connections between structures and entities. The final mode is ground mode. You can edit the ground in two ways. The first is using loops of points to generate a layer of flat ground. There are lots of ways to customize each loop and how the sides are shaped. The second type of ground is new, meshes. You can place a few different built-in mesh shapes or import a model that you've created in another program. Meshes can be rotated, scaled, and arranged to your liking. Finally, after saving your island, push spacebar to jump into sandbox mode. You can also open the island editor from sandbox mode. We'll go into full details for each editor in separate videos, with a focus on explaining every button. The editors may be overwhelming at first, but they are very powerful. The built-in worlds are just scratching the surface of what's possible. We can't wait to see what the community comes up with. Until next time.